Hey, Post family, what's good? You already know who it is. It is your boy Thesis, and we're back for another video today. And of course, it's another one from Native Instruments and Tim Phantom Rooms. This one is called Crosstalk Piano. So we're gonna check it out and see if it's actually worth really getting. We're gonna dig through this and check it out. So you guys keep it locked. Stay tuned. <laughs> Um, there are a lot of pianos that not just, you know, are saturated through the actual production community, but Native Instruments themselves has a lot of pianos, you know, like the MK1, they have piano colors, they have Noir, Alicia's Keys. So, you know, there are already a lot of them. So let's actually check out and see what the difference is and if there is any difference. So this is what the actual description of it says on the site. It's a totally new sound, discover a fresh approach to piano, Faithful piano samples with a soft, dark tone have been combined with a huge selection of processed multi samples. Choose from fragile, resynthesized, and deconstructed sounds, including field recordings, weird FM pianos, guitar like feedback loops, and much more. The layers are sample used the crosstalk feature to modulate individual layer volumes over time and shape the volume with six different macros. Now, we're gonna go ahead and go over the GUI. Of course, I'm gonna go through some of the sounds and let's go ahead and just start from the top and then just work our way around it, all right? Now, as you see right here, of course, this is where you can go and then pick your different sounds. So they have nine different preset categories and within those categories, they have subcategories. So the first one is close up. The second one is naked plus, subliminal, process, deconstructed, resynthesized, shortest, reverse designs, atmospheric designs within each one of those you get a different type of feel and you can adjust those presets like you know it's not just when you get the preset you can't adjust it as you look down further there are four different sets right so within these sets these are actually going to be the sounds that you use where you can either turn them off you can actually randomize right here or you can create and change the volume of how much you want that to be right so right now i have uh the initial preset up and this one is called intimate kiss but once again once you turn all these on you'll be able to hear a different sound it, it gives it that different feel that you would look for within that piano now you can click inside of those and then you'll get more categories that are actually within inside those presets so within the second one as you see this one's resynthesized and it has rusty toy bells, right? Now this section right here where it says ABC, you can control this with your mod wheel. And of course, when you go back and forth with it, it'll change like that within the actual layer sounds. So while you're playing it, you'll be able to see that move, right? At the bottom of that, this is where you can control all your macros. So right now I'm using the MK3S series and right here, it looks really good by the way with the GUI on it. Now, again, at the bottom, this is where you have all your macros. So you got crosstalk, filter, space, echo, drift, and time. Uh, on the next page, you have the actual mixer. Now, this mixer is for each individual layer where you can then either pan them or you can go and add more space or echo and actually turn on a, a gritty like dirt feel for each preset. But this is where you can actually control the channels within those layers. And then also you can go and then add those different effects as well. So you have space echo and again dirt and for the reverb you have just a regular reverb hall or they have rom but you can control the pre-delay the time the high cut and the return of that on the echo you have a modern analog or tape and then you can actually actually sync it for one four or you can do it based off of your milliseconds so you got that time feature feedback low cut and return on your dirt which is off right now you have a skimmer which is another cool effect from native instruments lo-fi and tape saturation and for those presets you have a gain warm and an output now these right here different snapshots within that effect on the next page you have the edit page so basically this one is where you edit your sources so if you want to transpose it at you know whatever midi you play you want to transpose it down you can do that you could do a random sample start you could change your velocity to the cutoff and your velocity to time and also in the mid section right here this is where you want to go you want to add filters and on the last page this is where you go and actually do different variations of different uh arpeggiation steps things of that nature and you have 
uh, four destination channels you can use. One thing I love about being able to use this within Contact 7 on the MK3 S series is that you can just go hit browser and then you can actually pick your sounds. Now, some of the presets they come and they change actual looks of it as you see it gives you different you know effects things like that so i think that's cool within itself too now of course i did a beat with this one let's check out the beat and uh let's just see where we go So again, you know, a really cool VST, another one from Native Instruments and 10 Phantom Rooms. If you guys are interested in getting something and you don't have those type of feels, great grab to get because it gives you those feels as if the other ones do all depends on your preference all depends on how you produce and all depends on what sound that you're specifically looking for again if you guys want to cop this you can drop down to the link in the description it will be there for you guys to check out but i uh, definitely appreciate everybody coming through checking out the uh brand new uh crosstalk piano let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, is it something that you know you're interested in getting or is it just a dud but once again, you know, I'm interested in seeing results, so please make sure you drop it down. But here it is, another one done, another one in the books. You guys already know who it is. It is your boy, Thesis. Peace.